Hey everyone, how's it going? Um, I know it's been a while since I made any sort of video or anything like that. I've been extremely busy, school, new job, everything like that. But beyond that, with this video here today, I'm just trying to provide a really simple and easy way um, and free way for you guys to make uh, Twitch emotes, sub badges, etc. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. Uh, the first thing that you need is the program GIMP. It's completely free. Um, G-I-M-P, just go to Google and type it in. You will find it. It's gonna be the first option. You'll get the latest version. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, download it, and then let's proceed from there. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do whenever you come into GIMP is you're going to go over here to File, okay? You're gonna go to File, and you're gonna go to Open. Wherever Open is, gonna go to Open. And you're gonna, over here, you're gonna navigate to whatever folder or something that the picture you want to turn into an emote, sub badge, et cetera, is. So just navigate to that folder. Mine's already on that folder. I'm gonna double click it. Mine, I am gonna use my Dribble Dog Blue as one of my emotes. So this is what I'm gonna do, pull this up. Once you have your image pulled up, now we're going to essentially outline the part of that image that you want to be in the emote. So you're gonna go over here, up here to this free select tool, as they call it. You're just going to outline the part of the image that you want. Um, do keep in mind, does not have to be 100% perfect because the image is going to be so small that it's not going to necessarily look that great anyway. But um, don't, don't be really sloppy with it either because it will translate over. So just do as good as you can. And if you can go all the way around without stopping at all, that's great because then you have to create like pinpoints essentially for yourself to redraw off of and that becomes weird because like jagged edges and stuff. So just do it as good as you can. Like right there, that wasn't perfect. Like if your picture goes off, don't stop, just keep going because that part that's outside the yellow is not gonna be within the image anyway, once we cut it. So just keep tracing. Go around everything you can, but just like most of you, probably, I am very OCD about this. Like, I just messed up that last part, and I actually can't get it to go. That's actually not bad. I'm just going to leave it. That looks fine to me. Because once, like I said, it's going to be so small, I'm not even going to be able to tell. All right, so what we're going to do now is after we have this, we're going to go up here to the scissors tool. Just click on the scissors tool, and then on your keyboard, you're going to hit the, hold the control key and then hit the X key, so control X. That's going to cut out whatever you just made, okay? And now you're going to hit Control V immediately after. That's going to create a new layer for it. What you're going to do within this new layer, and it's about to hide my face for a second, is you're just going to right click that layer and you're going to hit To New Layer. As you see, it created a new layer. You're just going to go down here to the old layer with like the white image that was cut out. You're going to hide it. This is the image that's going to be within your emote, okay? Well on your way, we're almost done actually. So now what you want to do is actually go to your Twitch channel or I'm gonna show you so you can know. Um, within Twitch, this is the emote credentials. With, if you have sub badges, um, check the sub badge credentials as well. Um, you have tier one, two, and three subs, okay? Make sure that this image as well is the same um, throughout every one of these. Like don't make one image and try to make it another one then another one that doesn't work. Um, that would be a continuity error. It has to be consistent across all, okay? But, so it goes 112, 56, 28 pixels. Um, and just because like another reference, because I ran into this problem too, start with the highest one and then work down. That way you don't have to like redo stuff. So now what we're actually going to do is we're going to right click this layer again and we're going to hit scale layer. And as we just saw, the pixels on the highest one for the emote was 112. So you're going to type in 112. If you just click off or hit enter, you notice that it tries to format it in like a specific way due to a certain ratio. Just break this chain right here in the right and then just type in exactly what you want, okay? 112, it's pixels, cubic spine, hit scale. It's gonna scale it down and now we need to do one more thing, okay? First, we're gonna zoom in with the magnifying glass tool. Make sure it's on zoom in, not zoom out. Just click on it a couple times until it gets to a comfortable distance. It will be blurry right here because obviously it's a very small image zoomed in a lot. That happens with anything. It will not look this blurry once we get the emote over, okay? So now that we have this, we're gonna go over here and actually grab the rectangle tool. You're gonna to go to the very top left corner. You're gonna grab it, drag it all the way over. Just fill in this entire yellow square, okay? Boom. And then after you get that, you're gonna go up here to image. And after you hit image, you're just really going to hit I don't know, literally going to hit um, 
crop to selection that cropped it to that square, that rectangle that you just made. Um, and that's it, we're done. So now there's a couple more things, just a few more things you have to do to get it to Twitch, but this is your emote, this is your emote 100%. And now you're gonna go over here to file, you're gonna hit export as, and you're gonna save it to wherever you wanna save it. Um, I want mine to go to my Twitch emotes folder. And then, so what you're actually going to do here is instead of leaving it as JPEG, then you have to do some conversion later on to make sure that it works. Just delete the JPEG part and just type .png. You can type whatever you want before it, obviously. I'm just gonna type uh, blue, I already have a 112 in there. I'm just gonna do large because that's gonna be the largest of the three and you're gonna hit export. Okay, and then we're gonna hit export again. Went great, and then actually navigate to that folder to make sure that it worked. So my folder is right here. Mine was blue large, and there it is. There's the email, that's exactly what it's gonna look like within there. Like I said, those little jagged edges down there, you it's really, cause I mean, all of it's kind of jagged around cause it's such a small image, you know? And then, so now what you're gonna do is within Twitch, you're just gonna click on it. It's gonna ask what you wanna put in there. I wanna put in blue large. We might get an error, we didn't. But just in case you were to get an error, like it said, image wrong size or wrong image, literally anything like where the box turns red and says like image denied, this is what you would do. And most of the time it's because it gets over that 25 kilobyte size due to the size of the image, et cetera. Um, so what you're actually gonna do to compress that image is just go over here to Microsoft Word. You're going to find that image again within your folder that it was in. So let's find that. It was a blue arch, just drag it in here. You're gonna click on it. You're gonna hit format. And then you're going to hit, uh, there should be something about like compressing, et cetera, something of that nature. Yeah, compress picture right here. So make sure it's clicked, compress pictures. Yes, compress, hit that. You're gonna right click it. And then you're gonna hit save, save as picture. Uh, you're gonna save it to wherever you want, but whenever you save it, be cognizant of the file type. Again, make sure that it is a PNG, not a JPEG, not anything else. And then I'm going to type this one, blue, large, words. I know it's the Microsoft Word one. And then make sure that is a portable network graphics, aka PNG. Click that, hit save. That'll go to your folder as well. And just to kind of show like the differences in size. So the blue, large, the regular one, if you go to properties, there's 28. And I don't even know how that got accepted because it seems too large. But even if something does come back, I made this one properties and it's significantly smaller. So that's the way to get around that if you do run into that error, okay? But now I'm gonna make the other two with you just to kind of show the flow of things. So after you have this, it's pretty simple to make the other two. You're just gonna right click and you're gonna hit scale again. And this time, instead of it being, um, I need to move this for like two seconds. Instead of it being 112, we're just going to do, uh, it was 56, I believe. Make sure that chain's broke and it should format to 56. I always just retype it just to be sure. It should be 56. It rescaled it to that 56 for you. Um, what you're gonna do again, I just zoom in to be sure I get the rectangle fully. You're gonna put that rectangle around it again. And then you're gonna go up to image one more time. Fit canvas to selection. There it is. Again, it will not look that blurry. File, export as. This one's gonna be blue medium. Make sure it says .png export, export, okay? And now we're gonna look to make sure that it worked for me. Twitch, Twitch emotes, blue medium. There it is, the smaller one, okay? And then now what you're gonna do is you're going to go into here Blue medium, if I get the error, I know what to do, I just put it in Microsoft Word. Did not get an error, so that's good. Now I can just go back into GIMP and do this all one more time. You're gonna right click, scale layer. You see, you get, you get the hang of things pretty quick. 56, 
uh, 28, I'm gonna break the chain and retype it just to be sure I don't have any errors. We're gonna scale. I always take this tool, zoom in about twice, go back up to my rectangle, grab it all the way down, image, scale image. Oh, not scale image, I did that wrong. <laughs> cropped to selection, already scaled it. It's cropped, file, export as, I'm in the right folder. This one's gonna be blue, small, dot png, export, export, Make sure it worked. Blue small, boom, there it is. And doing it this way, starting large and just going small. Um, if you try to go small and go large, it messes it up because you're trying to like, whenever you like rescale it, it just messes it up. I tried it, you might be able to do it. I just find it easier to go large to small. And then doing it this way ensures too that you don't get the air of like these images aren't the same. You just do it all in one move and it works great. There's that. I don't know what to name this one. We'll just put half for blue, half for hit blue, and then we're gonna hit save. And then that's my emote. It's probably gonna be up for review. Yeah, it's pending. Twitch does take some time to review these images to make sure A, that they're all the same image so that there's no error within their system, as well as that B, the image is appropriate. So do keep that in mind. And I can't remember if I said this or not, but do make sure that the image is actually your image. Take a picture of yourself, take a picture of your dog, take a picture of something, or go to like a royalty-free image site. Don't steal someone else's work. A, that's not cool. B, if you do want someone else's work, pay them for it. They're artists, artists work extremely hard. They just don't steal their work, okay? But that's it for this one. And like, if you wanna make sub badges, et cetera, literally anything like that. Um, let me see if I can find it. I don't remember exactly where, it, oh, loyalty badges. I have one, you literally just do the same thing. You just go in there. You find out which one it is. It's 72, 36, and 18 instead of the 1, 12, 56, 28. It's just a different number. You're just going to scale it to that number instead of the other numbers. But guys, that's literally it. Um, I hope this was a very informative video. And I did want to mention too, um, thank you guys so, so much for the love that you showed on my video. I posted, I don't even know, six months to a year ago. Um, it was the how to stream on an Elgato. So much feedback on that, so much helpful feedback. Um, I am going to try to make another video on that before too long, essentially updating things because I don't actually use the Elgato software at all anymore. I do use the Elgato still, but I don't use the Elgato software. I use a different software. Some of you might have spotted it on my screen. Um, it's actually not even on that screen, so you probably didn't. It's Streamlabs OBS. I use Streamlabs OBS now, but you can still use the Elgato through that, so I'll make another video for that. But for this one, guys, that is it. Thank you so much. Any questions whatsoever? please comment down below. I'll try to solve them. Um, I'm very new to GIMP. I've used it for a couple days now, but it seems pretty easy to me personally. Any questions, again, comment down below. I got a new phone now too, so um, I can easily respond to stuff. My old phone just didn't get notifications really. But just go ahead and respond down below if you have any questions, but do feel free to please like if this video helped you as well as subscribe. It's 100% free. And don't forget to follow my Twitch at twitch.tv. I'm actually just going to show it. It'll be twitch.tv forward slash it's African. I would greatly appreciate it. Following that channel is 100% free as well. So that's it, guys. Thanks for this one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.